One of the most important obligations that we have as members of the U.S. chemical industry is to ensure a safe and secure workplace. SACA members alone, the majority of which are small, medium-sized manufacturers with sales over 40 million a year, have invested an estimated $515 million in security measures to date. Since CFAS was launched, more than 2,000 facilities have changed processes or inventories in ways that enable them to screen out of the program. Thus, as predicted, CFAS is driving chemical facilities to produce inherent hazards wherein their expert judgment doing so is in fact safe and it does not transfer risk to other points in the supply chain and it also makes very good economic sense. So there's no doubt in my mind that our nation's security and safety is better with CFATS.